Greetings dear viewers, today I have a poem about the great Robert James Bobby Fisher and this is a poem about when Bobby Fisher's photo first appeared in print. Now if chess players, chess fans have to take a calculated guess as to when or on which occasion it might be, they may actually take a guess that it might be uh, because of uh, Fisher's tournament victory or some great performance in a tournament but no. It was not due to a tournament, but it was in the process of Fisher learning more about the game that he was featured uh, first time in print. And this was in the newsletter of a mag newsletter of a library, which was called as Army Plaza Library. What is the story? At the age of just nine, Fisher already possessed enough passion towards the game of chess and he wanted to more or less amass whatever knowledge that he could and this is the reason he went to army plaza library very consistently because there was a lot of chess books he went there with a the chess board and started to play through the books using the chess board and the boy would make massive transitions after just few months he would be able to play through the books without the help of a chess board which is just incredible and because of this dedication the army plaza library had a picture of the young bobby fisher in their newsletter and this goes to show the dedication that the young fisher had and of course we all know that this isn't the first time that his photo will be featured he nevertheless uh, he reti he in a way he went away from the game was not very active after he became world champion but he was the poster boy of chess until his last breath so let us understand more about fishers and first photo let's get into the poem the chess world respects the great fisher calling him as one of the greats the hours he spent on the game is well known and it's through this bridge that his talent has flown in 1952 when fisher was just nine he knew what would make his game fine. Spending hours in the Army Plaza library, devouring chess literature in Mary. He was so consistent in his visits that the library newsletter had his photo with caption. All were impressed by his passion that led to his dedication. This was the first photo of Fisher that appeared in print, the first of the several that would be staple for journalists. In just a few months, the boy would improve and get into an unbelievable groove, able to play through the books without the chessboard, which would later enable him to scale peaks that were unexplored. I hope you like the poem. As usual, the full poem is in the description. And thank you very much for your time.